My name is Jody Carter. I am the section chief of the Phoenix Children's Pediatrics. COVID-19 is a fluid subject. It is changing every day. We are learning new things all the time. In general, what we are finding is that children are not having significant complications, thankfully, from COVID-19. Most children are uh, either asymptomatic or have symptoms that can safely be managed at home and outside of a hospital setting. One of the things that's also emerging in this COVID-19 crisis is the realization that families are delaying out of fear getting the care that they need from their general pediatrician. What we're concerned about is that not getting that preventive care, not getting those vaccinations is going to lead to further public health and personal health issues. During this time of COVID, patients should absolutely continue to take their prescribed medications. Uh, if refills are needed, it's best to reach out and connect with the doctor who's prescribing that medication for you. Telemedicine is a great way to have a follow-up visit to ensure that it is safe and appropriate for someone to continue a long-term medication. We all obviously want to protect our children as best we can right now during this time of pandemic. And one of the questions we get asked a lot is, how can I protect my child from infection? What we suggest is a couple of things. Wash your hands often. If you can't wash your hands with soap and water, use hand sanitizer. Wear masks out in public. Avoid large gatherings. Uh, and of course, keep away from others who are ill. If you're concerned that your child has symptoms that could be consistent with COVID-19, the first thing you should do is call your pediatrician. Uh, talk through the symptoms, request a visit. That visit again can be either telemedicine or in office. We are now at a place where if a telemedicine visit is completed and it would be helpful to have your son or daughter seen in our clinics in person, we have the appropriate protective equipment to be able to do that safely. Uh, but start with your doctor if you're concerned. If your child does test positive for COVID-19, please call your pediatrician for advice on next steps. We can talk you through the supportive care that we find to be helpful that you can provide at home for your child and what warning signs to watch for that would necessitate a trip to the emergency room. Again, what we are finding is that the majority of children who test positive have mild symptoms and are able to be cared for at home. But we do want families to be prepared to watch for warning signs that would necessitate a trip to the emergency room. Phoenix Children's has taken extraordinary measures to make our environment uh, in all of our locations and clinics as safe as possible for patients, families, providers, and staff. We are doing screening of all patients and caregivers entering our buildings. We are social distancing in our waiting areas and in our common areas. We are masking all of our staff and providers and asking all uh, guests in our facility, parents, patients, um, to wear masks themselves. We are performing extraordinary in-depth cleaning measures at all times and in between patients. We are also only doing well visits in the morning time of our clinic. We're only bringing well children in all at the same time, reserving sick, potentially infectious visits for the afternoon. We are limiting visitors. We are currently only allowing one parent at bedside at a time. We are not allowing siblings at the bedside or in the building at all. And we're continually um, in contact with other children's hospitals around the country to hear what best practices are emerging and uh, adapting as we need to, to uh, take what others have learned and, and share our experiences to, to get all children's hospitals to be healthy, safe places. So these spaces are really safe to come to. And for that reason, I really encourage everyone to come and not delay care when they need it. Uh, we are here for you, we care about you. If uh, parents need support emotionally, um, we're here for that too. We're here for you and we, we wanna see you and we wanna talk with you. And we've done a lot of hard work to make our spaces very safe and we feel very confident that they are.